hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we will be looking at another result which states the, that disjoint cycles they compute with each other through the way of examples we have already seen this thing let's try and prove this thing in general so the result here tell us that if we have a pair of cycles one permutation one cycle is given represented by this alpha which is given by the elements a1 a2 up to am so that means a1 would map to a2 a2 would map to a3 and so on and the last element am minus 1 would map to am and am would map again back to a1 right and for beta we have the elements b1 b2 up to bn right we have these two as two different permutations right and we are assuming that these two permutations they do not have anything in common so the digits a1 a2 up to am are, are all different from the limit uh, digits b1 b2 up to bn right if that is there in that case uh, if you write alpha beta that is same as writing beta alpha so that means uh, for these two disjoint cycles they commute with each other and you write uh, any one of them you can write any one of them as the first entry and any one of them as the second entry it does not make any difference at all so for the proof here we start by defining a set s right and we for this set s we are defining some elements such that it contains all the elements which are present in the first permutation first cycle it contains all the elements which are present in the second cycle and there could also be few more elements which are kept fixed under both of these cycles so let's call them by c1 c2 up to ck right there could be none but there could be some right so for the sake of uh, taking the general case let's consider these elements so here the element c is they are kept fixed and bo by both alpha and beta so that means alpha of c is also c and beta of c is also c they do not have any effect on c correct so once we have defined this set now what we wanted to prove we wanted to prove alpha beta is equal to beta alpha so how we will prove it we will prove that alpha beta of x would be equal to beta alpha of x for all x which are member of s so we can take x in different shifts so we can take x first of all from these a's then from these b's then from these c's right so let's take x as one of the a elements so let's call uh, the that element as ai so we are taking uh, a as ai and we are applying alpha beta onto this ai so that means we can uh, shift by the distributive property sorry by the associativity property we may uh, write this alpha beta as alpha of beta of a1 and a, a, a i is fixed under b beta permutation why because uh, it only have uh, the elements b1 b2 up to bn so all the a i's and all the cj's they are kept fixed under the permutation beta right so therefore beta of a1 is exactly b a a i right beta of a i is a i and what is alpha of a i it would give you the next element from this cycle so suppose you have a i here right so the next element would be a of i plus one so when you apply alpha to it you would have this element because a i would map onto the next element which is a i plus one right uh, so, so uh, and moreover if we reach at the, if we are taking this arbitrary element ai as the last element then our ai plus 1 would be the first element because the last element maps all the element to the first one this is how we are defining the given cycle okay now once we have alpha beta of ai which is ai plus 1 we can calculate beta alpha of ai so it is equal to beta of alpha of ai now alpha of a i if you already know that is a i plus 1 and all the a's they are fixed under the permutation beta so when you apply beta onto a i plus 1 it is a i plus 1 only so that means in both the cases we are getting a i plus 1 so therefore this is equal to this thing whenever we are applying it to the a elements so that means the functions alpha and beta they agree on the a elements in a similar fashion both of them they also agree on b elements how let's see that thing also 
so we have alpha beta of say bj right now if you apply beta on bj what would be that it would give you the next element so it would be bj plus 1 and alpha is being fixed on j uh, all the b elements so it would be bj plus 1 only and again what is beta alpha of bj it is equal to beta of alpha of bj right and alpha is keeping all the b elements as fixed so therefore it is just bj right and beta of bj is bj plus 1 so both of them uh, they are equal to each other so therefore alpha beta of bj is equal to beta alpha of bj so therefore this thing is also true for all the elements uh, which are taken from the permutation b so this all these uh, this thing is true all for all the ele b elements as well right so now we have the result for all the a's all the b's so we are left with just the c elements so that means we have to check whether they are equal for c elements or not so we will check uh, we will check it similarly uh, on applying onto the element c i so it would be alpha b of c i so alpha beta of c i beta of c i is c i only because c uh, all the c's are kept fixed under beta and alpha of c i is c i only because all the c's they are kept fixed under alpha similarly beta alpha of c i is uh, beta of alpha of c i beta uh, sorry alpha of ci is ci only and beta ci is ci so therefore we have both of them as equal so therefore the left hand sides they are also equal hence in general because we have proved that uh, alpha beta is equal to beta alpha for all the elements of this particular set therefore we have a result in general right so i hope you understood this result well and its proof well that is it for this video thank you for watching